Hi. We've installed, we've created a new app. Next thing is to install the app into our instance. First, you open the URL. If your server is not running, be sure you are logged into your server. And also have a second tab to open, to work with while your server is running. The server is up and running, we can test it by opening this. When we open, first thing to do is to check login as admin. Once logged in, check the version of Rapid we are running to show you the apps installed. Here I have ERP Next version 13, beta 13, and Rapid Framework version 13, beta 11. We have created a new app called Estate App, and that app needs to be installed into our sites. So the first thing to do is use the second terminal. Try first list the sites to know the sites you have. This are the site name is dev.local. To add the app to the sites, first we check if the app exists in this app.txt. No, no, apps. App.txt. Nano sites slash app.txt. The app was automatically added when it was created. If it does not exist, you manually type it in to that file and save. So we can add it to the site by typing bench that is site. Site name is dev.local. Install app. This will add the app to that site. Install app. And the name of the app is estate. This also shows that the app is installing and once it's out of here, it means this app has been installed and at the same time, if there's an error, you get the error log on the terminal. You can migrate, but here, if you migrate, there will be no database changes because we have no doc type existing in the site for the, at the moment. Oh, that's taking too long. Well, we can check the game to check the available apps by clicking on help and about. It doesn't show, just reload. After reloading, try it again to show you the list of available apps and the new app which you have just installed into the site. Go back to help about, and you can see the app which you have just installed, Estate App version 0.001, automatically added in for you. Go to your editor to check it, Estate App Setup. Click on setup.py. Anyway, you can find the details about the application app you just included in here. So we can go on. 
having seen this it means that our app has been successfully installed and we can work with it the next thing to do after installing a new app written is to set the server to development mode or the system to development mode to set the server to development mode we'll edit the file cd into sites ls to leave the content cd into the main site cd dev dot local ls to place the content this file site underscore configuration contains every configuration that pertains to the site in question which is dev dot local to edit the file you can use nano sites enter yes we have database name password database type at some point you have encryption key have several other things but for the now yeah. What you should do is make this a development server by typing developer underscore mode one. For every new configuration you want to add, always make sure you add the comma on the last one before going to the new one. Control O to save, Control X. This development mode will allow us to be able to edit doc types directly, but Please take note, do not edit ERP next or frappy doc type directly. Instead, use customization. We'll get to that. But for your custom app, you can always edit the file directly. But at some point, you may need to start using custom fields for your own custom application. But that's just it. After installing the custom app, we'll get into what is called uh, modules. For example, modules is a collection of doc types or collection of related doc types. To check the modules available in the system, type module in the awesome bar. Once you type module dev, click on module dev list to bring you to this page. This is the list of all available modules in the system. And the last you will see or the latest you see is your application you installed. And where is this app module? Your estate app. Estate app. This is a module. If you create a new module, it will be added. It will be added next to this. Okay, let's make a try. New module name estate house select the app if you select custom this custom you will not find the file you will not find the file directory in here you won't find the file directory, so do not select custom. Just select type and enter the feed in the name. Select the type and save. Once done, go back to your custom application, close this, open it. You can see estate house next to it. This is another module. So that's just it. But we can delete this because we have no use for this estate house module. Okay, that's just it for the now. Thanks for watching and we'll continue in the next section.